up guys it's pages man here and i am back with another video today we'll be talking about my wild card pickums why i chose each pick and how many i got right so we'll see right here on the screen that all the games i got right except for the patriots game so i went five for six on my wild card pickums so we're basically going to go from the from the left all the way to the right and then we'll get to the buccaneers at the bottom so we'll go in that order and i'll just talk about each game a little bit and why i chose all the games five out of six i'd say that's pretty good um, so yeah, let's go ahead and go through them. So Bengals, it was Bengals and Raiders, and the Bengals won that game 26 to 19. So this was a, basically a game where the Bengals were ahead, and then the Raiders hung in there until the very end, but they could not convert on their last drive. The reason I had chose the Bengals in the first place was mainly because the Bengals' offense has proven themselves throughout the season, and I didn't think that the Raiders would be able to stop the Bengals enough in order to actually overcome them and win the game. Not to say the Raiders are incapable of, you know, winning the game against the Bengals, but I just felt that, like, with the Bengals being at home and their momentum and just the fact that they overall have figured themselves out the most, I thought the Bengals would win, and they did. It was sort of closer than I thought, but then again, I thought it was going to be a fairly competitive game for a little bit until the Bengals pulled away. But in the end, it was a close end. The Bengals did win. Next up, we have the Kansas City Chiefs beating the Steelers. I believe the final score was 42 to 21. Um, the, the Chiefs basically, you know, started pretty slow in this one. They pulled away from the Steelers towards the end of the first half and into the second half. So of course, this was probably the most obvious pick for a lot of people. Um, unless a lot of people were, were calling the upset, they were going to choose the Chiefs. The Chiefs were just really the safe pick because you knew that, you know, it's playoffs. The Chiefs don't usually lose unless, you know, Super Bowl or later on in the playoffs, they, they hardly lose in the wild card round with Patrick Mahomes in this offense. Next up, we've got the Arizona Cardinals losing to the Rams 34 to 11. So I chose the Rams thinking, hey, this was another one where I just thought the Cardinals have been sort of on a decline. Um, the Cardinals have been having issues as of late. They started hot and they've lost a lot of games, including a game to the Lions. And the Rams, they had their own stretch of doing poorly, but they were heating up towards the end of the season. And additionally, with the Rams being at home, having their home crowd behind them, all that sort of stuff, um, probably having a lot of superpower, adding Von Miller and all those other players to their squad. I honestly think the Rams, you know, the, thought the Rams were going to go ahead and win that game, and they won it with ease. Now, going on to the next one here, New England, the one I got wrong. Honestly, I chose the Patriots. It was just a spur of the moment decision. I was going to go with the Bills, but then I was just like, well, I'm just going to go with the one that I have faith in my team with. Um, you know, obviously I thought it was going to be an uphill battle. I didn't think that it was going to be impossible for the Patriots to win. But of course, when the other team doesn't, when the other team scores a touchdown on literally every drive and makes NFL history, uh, yeah, it's not going to look pretty, it's not going to look good at all. So a lot worse than I thought it would be. O overall, the defense just did not play well at all. Um, if they could get a few stops, maybe that game's a little more competitive. We'd have to see, but, you know, we'll never truly know. But yeah, I chose New England. Um, probably should have chosen Buffalo for sure. Buffalo would have been the safer pick because they were, you know, they were had a higher chance of winning. Although I don't think that it was as sure as the Chiefs being the Steelers. I think that this game could have been a lot more competitive, yet it wasn't. Next up here, the 49ers. So the 49ers, I chose them over the Cowboys because similar to the Cardinals, the Cowboys have been, you know, fairly hot in their, you know, been starting fairly hot in their season. Um, with the offense and everything, and then they started to decline. Um, you know, when a team starts to decline heading into the playoffs, they're losing momentum, and all the hot teams are going to end up winning games because overall they're the most prepared. They're finding themselves towards the end of the season. And I thought the 49ers are the most complete team in this game, and they jumped on top of the Cowboys early. The Cowboys couldn't really get anything going until the very end, and then the time ran out on them after a play call where they, you know, Dak Prescott ran up the middle. And they had the whole thing with spying the ball. But in the end, the 49ers, you know, they got into that, got that lead pretty early, put themselves in a good position to win. And finally, the Buccaneers. This one was another one of those picks where you're like, well, it's basically the, the two versus the seven. It's the Chiefs, it's the Bucks at the two seed. And they're facing these teams like the Steelers and the Eagles. I chose the Buccaneers just knowing this is the safest pick. It's Tom Brady. It's Tom Brady at home in the playoffs. Um, the chances of him losing to the Eagles were low, unless the Eagles came out with a very good game plan from the start, and they got absolutely demolished from the start. They were down, I believe it was 31-0, however the score was, and they scored a couple touchdowns late 
uh, you know, towards the end of the game in the fourth quarter. But again, it's sort of like the 49ers. They jumped on them early. They didn't really have a chance, even if they wanted to come back. And yeah, that's going to be it, guys. So five out of six on the wild card pickums. When it comes to redeeming these pickums, um, they're either going to be available today when this video comes out. I'm recording this in the morning, Wednesday morning. So this basically means that when reset happens, they could already be active. It says available 119, which is today. Or if you actually go to the playoffs map and you click the info, it tells you at the bottom, or where is it? At the bottom somewhere. Um, it was there at least, but the pickums are going to, I believe it's actually here. No, it's here. 120. So 120 is actually Thursday. So the, the trade tells you something different than the playoff pickums graphic tells you. I'm leaning towards Thursday, but we'll have to see. But yeah, we'll be able to redeem all those for rewards. But that will be it, guys, on my wildcard pickums. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know how you guys did on your wildcard pickums and what you'll be choosing for your rewards. But that will be it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.